peace. This is Supreme Intelligence, and this is a video. It's going to be a random video, you know. Um, us as people, we like to... Um, I'm not saying get in people's business, but me and myself, I like to help people. Like, I was told I was a healer, you know what I'm saying, in a, a lot of ways, you know. But sometimes us as people, we can't um, get into other people's business. Like me, myself, I don't get involved. But say if a friend come to me with a problem, I be like, I get my input on it, and then I say I'm gonna stay out of it. <clears throat> but the thing I hate is when um, you get involved. And it's not involved, but your input or you help a friend in a way, you know, they get upset at you or something and they just don't want to fuck with you in a type of way. So I'm like, whatever. I'm the type of person. I'm like, yo, you don't want to fuck with me? Fuck you. I don't care. And I let it, I keep it moving. And um, another thing. I want to say this is something that my both of my fathers told me um the way you make people feel important that's the same way that they should make you feel important you know it could be friends family your girl or to the ladies a um your man your husband and stuff like that the, it's crazy because these days it's like a whole bunch of personalities. Everybody has different personalities in any type of way, in their shape or form, you know? But you, us as people, especially those who got good hearts, you know, everybody wants to feel important. And sometimes we forget the person that made us feel, feel important or got us to a certain way that we should do the same for them. But sometimes it just doesn't work that way. Because sometimes people, when they're going through a hard time in something, they want to feel better. But when they start to feel bad, they forget about the person who was there when no one else wasn't or any type of way. So, you know, like I got a lot of, a lot of friends sometimes that go through it. Like some, like... You know what I'm saying? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? People are a certain way. You know, and um we us as people we just got accept by the way people are, you know. Like every my dad always told me this, the way you love people is not gonna be the same way that they're gonna love you. You know, like if you're there for somebody and do it, do anything, let let's just say like one of your friends one of your friends family member or someone dies right let me take this hat off it's, it's kind of hot so you um got a friend family member passes away and um you're there for your friend you know what I'm saying there for him you know what I'm saying him or her or whatever you know what I'm saying? You there. You know, that person's going through a hard time. And as soon as that hard time is up, you know, that person forgets what you did and, and everything like that. And that's the, the problem. Like, you know, we're there. But then again, and when stuff like that happens, it's like, yo, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have been there for that person. We, we get angry, you know. Like, my grandma always told me this, that, because back in the day, I got my heart broken, like, really bad. This was, like, my first love and shit, you know. And she seen the pain I was in. The thing that she said to me was, whoever hurts you isn't gonna, gonna it's not gonna be for too long. And then said, from this day forward, if anybody hurts you, they're gonna pay financially. They're going to be messed up physically, 
they're not gonna, their health is not gonna be good. And she said some other shit, I forgot, you know what I'm saying? Everybody says, yo, grandma is always looking at after you. And you know what I'm saying? It just seems like, like after she she left the earth in the, in the physical form, it's like, I go through things I don't want to talk to her sometimes. Sometimes I do. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes she comes to me in my dreams. But, you know, when you lose someone like a grandmother that you was close to, you know what I'm saying? That, that pain hurts, you know? Like, especially in a lot of situations, us as people. Um, sorry about it, Vera. That's, that's my cigar. But <clears throat> I just want us people to do better, to respect each other love each other in every type of way you know people in your life for a reason and it's like people always say yo, yo i had a question thing is i haven't done a video in a while i've been going through some things you know what i'm saying get myself together mentally and also physically as well you know so I got a message for somebody. It was like, yo, how do you know that person is for you and that person is your soulmate? Thing is, us people, we're hard-headed, you know. We can see the person that's for us that's right there, and we don't even know it. Well, we know, but we just don't want to know. The thing that I hate about this world is too many people in everybody's business. Like... It could be people like people like I told y'all before. Stop going to these people that are fucked up. It may seem like they're going through um that they know what you're talking about, but most of the time these people wanna see they don't wanna see you win. They wanna see you fall. Like like my um <clears throat> grandma always said, it's always a devil dressed in a disguise, meaning it could be the ones that smile in your face and even the ones that the thing about me i got trust issues man i admit that when i first meet you it take a while for me to trust you I meaning you have to prove to me that i'm that you're in you down with me 100 percent even though you a person like for instance like you know what I'm saying? Say if, say if I, I, I meet a girl or whatever. We're talking on the phone all the time. She claims she's not doing nothing and stuff. Something in my head but still say, yeah, she's doing this and that. You know what I'm saying? That's just normal. And she couldn't even be doing anything. It's the simple fact. That's just my nature. You know what I'm saying? You can't trust everybody 100%. Like, I'm like this. Like, I was married once. You know what I'm saying? And we used to go back and forth, break up, get back together, break up, get back to together. So at one point, she, not before we got divorced, but a couple of years, like, before we got divorced, she left me for some dude. She came back and thinking that I'm going to forget everything and that, yeah, it's going to be fine. You know what I'm saying? I, I trust you again. She was... Some women are okay for a week or so, but the thing is, you got to ask yourself um, when something happens, like, damn, I fucked up. You know, I hurt this person very bad. And it's this not just going for women, it's going for men also. Like, damn, I fucked up. You know what I'm saying? It's the good thing that you can do is just man up or, or I'll say women up and say, I fucked up. You know what I'm saying? We all got pride. Sometimes it takes that one thing to say, yeah, I fucked up, I was wrong. You know what I'm saying? About what was going down. And sometimes you just gotta say, yeah, I was selfish. You know what I'm saying? I told y'all the stuff that I was, I was like the worst of the worst when it came to dogs. And you know what I'm saying? I was worse. And you know what I'm saying? I, I did get my karma, I, I understand, and I, I learned from it, you know what I'm saying? It's like, <clears throat> a lot of women just, it's not like they're asking for too much, 
they know what they want. You know, but at the same time, you know what you want. Just, just start doing this exercise with the person you're interested in, asking them like, what do I want? I mean, what what do you want? What your 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 expectation of me? Like, you can start by that. Like sometimes y'all don't talk on the phone that much, or when you talk, it's a little silence and stuff. Like signs that I know that like talking and conversation that I, I learned is like Leos, Aquariuses, uh, Virgos, and um. Sagittarius is, you know what I'm saying? We, like, I'm a Sagittarius. We like conversation. But sometimes, like us, we can't always hold the conversation. Like, if you learn something new, go to your dudes, like, yeah, I'm learned this, you know what I'm saying? X, Y, and Z. So, you know what I'm saying? I would like you to learn. Or ask, would you like, like to learn this? You know what I'm saying? Just don't do that all the time you know it's crazy because people are just these days people are funny you know like i said just always feel important like i always listened like my mom and my dad even my mom and my stepdad had beautiful marriages you know what i'm saying even though my dad left this planet earth before you know what i'm saying he he left early, you know. But I remember the love he had for my mom. That's probably why I am the way I am in my relationships. Because I see the, the way my dad, both of my fathers, treated my mother. You know. It's like what you see, how your mom and your dad is in a relationship. That's the way you are when you when you get older. You know, you, you know if your parents show each other that yeah they love each other you know what i'm saying when you get in a relationship that's how you're gonna be like i'm not saying like some some people i know like even some some of my day ones their parents had bad relationships but doesn't mean when they get a woman or that 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 they're gonna be like fucked up how their their parents relationship is nah it's not like that so, all I gotta say, just most important thing, like, just feel important. You know, if the person you with doesn't make you feel important, just tell them about it. You know what I'm saying? If they 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 should understand, like, okay, I didn't know you felt that way. You gotta be more understandable. And my dad always told me this, man. When you're in a relationship or whatever, don't be stupid. You know, because a lot of people, when they see how you are, a lot of people think someone is stupid. And at the same time, a lot of people aren't stupid. Because a person's quiet or angry all the time. Even the one that's more talkative in people, especially this world, you know, somebody's quiet. Oh, they're slow. Someone does this and this. They're, they're, they're crazy or deranged or shit like that. You know... It's not like that, you know what I'm saying? Just the same respect and love that, that someone's giving you, you should give them the same thing. That's how I feel, you know, but this world is fucked up, so that's how it is. So this is Supreme Intelligence, and this is a video, and peace.